Working with family isn't always the easiest, but I never felt like I couldn't talk to my dad or my grandpa. The things I've learned business-wise, because I feel so much more comfortable asking people that I love, it's a blessing that I don't think a lot of people get to experience anymore. With family involved, there's a lot of dedication to make sure that everything works. My son, Jeff, runs the manufacturing down at Cookies. Janine, which is our oldest, had the opportunity to hand label bottles in the early days of Cookies. My oldest son, Ryan, runs the automotive parts and golf cart operation. With the kids and the grandkids involved in it, it just makes it a lot of fun. And if I wouldn't have had that, I'd have got out of it years ago. I can remember driving around in a van, going store to store. That was kind of a family vacation. We would find a hotel with an indoor pool, which was our treat at night, and we'd drive around and dad would sell barbecue sauce case by case, store to store. People, when they're younger, you know, they, you go to the park, you go to the playground and stuff. Well, when we were little, like, we would ask to go down to Cookies. We would go play basketball down there. There was golf carts down there that we could take out, you know, drive around the parking lot. And the smell, whenever my dad would come home, he would just smell like barbecue sauce. Not like a, ew, that's gross, because I've been around it so long. It's like, okay, that means dad's home. Just kind of a comforting feeling. Me, Sydney, and Kendall, my two sisters, dad would have us come in on the weekends and like have us do like flavor enhancer bottling and I think we lasted three days. Constantly getting bullied I was. Uh, I don't know how many times I cried. Judy, which was my better half, and many people tell you that, she passed away a few months ago, but her and I were married 55 plus years. She'd go out and do food shows with me and promotions at the state fair. Judy was very instrumental. Needless to say, I'd certainly miss her. My grandparents, were the best compliments of each other. It's just amazing to see what this business has grown into because of their personalities and how good of people they are. My grandma was one of the most caring people. She made every single person feel like they mattered. Mom was that presence to get stuff done behind the scenes. She was like the rhythm, like the drum beat, keeping everybody marching forward. I said at mom's funeral when I spoke, my mom was the chief of everything. Now that she's been gone for a few months, we realize how much she was. What grandpa lacked is what grandma fulfilled and opposite. It's just hard to explain because it's, it's what family's supposed to be like. We feel very fortunate to have our business located here in Wall Lake. You know, 850 people, really a neat little town. The nature of a small town and a farming community, everybody works together, something needs to get done, you just roll up your sleeves and get it done. I think there is that camaraderie and a more of a tight-knit feeling because you know everybody. Right now we're at Speeds. I mean, you have the shop to my left, you have my grandparents' house to my right. If you go a mile southeast of here, you have my parents' house, and then if you go another mile on the highway, then you get cookies. So I mean, it's all in a matter of like two sections what you would think a small town is, is what it is. I wouldn't have wanted to grow up anywhere else. Today I'm over 80 and hopefully I'm gonna to live to be 140 or at least work full time at 140. It's just a lot of fun to work with the grandkids and teach them how to cook and hopefully instill a good work ethic in them. It'll be fun watching the kids and grandkids grow into it and watch it expand. Mm -hmm.